¿Qué onda banda de Telehit? Pues el día de hoy nos encontramos en la ciudad de Miami eh, con una banda que pues, la neta ya teníamos ganas de entrevistarla eh, que a mí en lo personal pues me gusta bastante, estoy hablando de Disturb So, thank you very much for the time of this interview, Dave and Ben Pleasure So, uh, Believe, what do you want to express with that album? The album is meant to be a, uh, a positive message It's meant to encourage people to believe in something in a time when there's very little left to believe in. It's, you know, a album that speaks to celebrating the indomitable spirit of humanity. But in what kind of things do you believe? Well, you have to first and foremost believe in yourself, which is the thing that most people have lost sight of nowadays. They don't believe that their actions can actually uh, affect change in anyone, let alone their own personal environment as well as the world environment they don't feel that there's any point to it that they're content with just leading the lives that they lead and just uh, having their own little uh, microcosmic world uh, that is left untouched and you know people are encouraged to not act people are encouraged to stay uh, complacent in their lives and uh, we're encouraging exactly the opposite we we'll encourage people to strive to believe in something whether it's certainly to believe in themselves to believe in god or the supernatural or mother nature or whatever you call it to believe that there could potentially be something waiting for you in a dark room when you enter it. believe What is the most important reason to disturb, to create music? First and foremost for ourselves. It's the greatest addiction that we have in our lives is being able to compose music and bring it to the stage and uh, elicit that reaction from people that we get, which hopefully you'll see a little bit later yeah. tonight. Um, <clears throat> I think that you know, when The more that you grow together as a, as a unit, as an, as an artistic unit, the more dependent on each other you become. And, uh, you know, it's just like any drug that you become addicted to. And the more you have, the more you want. And, uh, you know, our hunger certainly hasn't been satiated yet. But do you think that right now in the music industry, can you be independent? Or, because right now it's like a a whole world business I mean even in rock you know with uh, I mean the labels just want to sell uh, label uh, records and all that thing can you just be independent is that a possibility I think that it, it depends on how you're number one uh, defining independence uh, you need to no matter what you do in life if you believe in what you do particularly if you're an artist And if you believe that the art that you've created is something that is worthwhile and beautiful, then you want to share it with as many people as possible. And you want to utilize whatever resources are available to you in order to spread your art to as many people as possible. So you, if you do not take advantage of everything that's uh, afforded to you, whether it's assistance by a record label or other media entities, Uh, you know, too much independence to the point where you cut off everything else and where you leave yourself no assistance is stifling. It prohibits growth. Uh, there's, <clears throat> there's a lot to be said about individual independence in terms of being your own person, and we still certainly maintain that. There's no other creative forces that are uh, affecting the creative process of this band. We still forge every song in its entirety. We still uh, outlay our overall game plans. 
and uh, we're still very, very instrumental in everything that has to do with the operations of the band. So we maintain our independence well enough and uh, our control well enough while still utilizing the resources that are afforded to us. So is there something that you don't like about this tour? <laughs> there are many things. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> um, <clears throat> Well, we mentioned earlier that everything that we've earned uh, in our career, we've earned by the sweat of our brow. You know, it's all been through tremendous uh, hardship and difficulty that things are finally blessed upon this band and granted to this band. And granted, that, that certainly it, it gives us greater appreciation for the things when they do come. But it would be nice every once in a while for something to come. <laughs> you know, for... Um, to have accomplished the level of uh, success that we have and to go on your basic city street anywhere in America and if you ask your average person if they've heard of the band, forget about whether or not they know what we look like, but if you ask them if they've heard of the band, nine out of ten probably haven't. And uh, there's a missing element there. <clears throat> Or even if you sell two, three million records on your first, you know, on your debut album um, and you come back and you debut in the states again with the number one selling record in the country uh, still people may not have heard of you and um, it, it's a little aggravating you know considering as much as we do and as much of ourselves as we put into it and as As proud as we are of what we've created, we want people to have an awareness of it. We want there to be uh, a presence of the band. It should be a, a household name at some point. We want to make this as great as it could potentially become. Yeah, that's certainly one of the things that I would change. Um, but as far as the band in and of itself, As far as you know, our interaction and the way that we create and anything, there's nothing that I would change. I mean, what do you think about Latin music? Um, you know, I think that I love the rhythm of it. I love uh, the different intricacies that are a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that you know we in the U.S. really don't get to be exposed to the better sorts of Latin music that exist. I don't view, with all due respect to these people, but Enrique Iglesias and Ricky <laughs> Martin to be representatives of Latin music. Yeah, no, not at all. I think that they're just, you know, Latino people who uh, were basically bred through the United <laughs> States and are trying to find their niche by trying to lock into another piece of the marketplace and that's not necessarily representative of Latin music. You know, somebody like Lale is probably a little bit more representative of Latin music per se. Um, but uh, to be perfectly honest with you, we're not exactly well schooled in, in Latin music so I'm probably going to stop myself from speaking on it further <laughs> before I sound foolish. <laughs> so uh, right now you're in tour with Korn. Uh, what's an experience to play with that guys? Yeah, we, we've been fans of them since their first album and uh, I mean when they come to Chicago I mean we've seen them so many times in concerts and they're just one of those those bands that we've you know dreamt of touring with and finally um, just the timing worked out right you know with their new album coming out earlier this year and, and us coming out with Believe in September it just happened to work out for us and it's something that our fans have been asking for for a long time too always saying oh it would just be great if you guys toured together you know and it's just a great opportunity um, to be out with them they're, they're a great band and uh, they definitely make us step it up every night you know they definitely throw down when they're up there and it makes us rise to that challenge of, of friendly competition in a way of, of us knowing that we have to um, step it up each night to uh, kind of that friendly uh, competition of, of knowing we have to both go out there and work. So we went to a great band to make you a better band. 